So he's going to read, uh, just read 25. It's uh, from Chunks on Ken. Good morning, everybody. So there's, uh, if you want to look up this book, it's on the internet. You can download the PDF. But this is the page uh, 765. You can read the first part. Okay. Just this book here. When you go to this bear world, you do not take money with you. Each person needs to restore more than 120 people. The citizens of the kingdom of heaven were all lost. By engrafting them, we bring them to back to their proper place. For you to go through the twelve pyramid gates in the spirit world, what matters is how many citizens of the kingdom of heaven you have recovered from Satan and restored while you were still on earth. To do so, you must shed tears, sweat, blood, sweat and blood. With, our, with the heart of recreation, you should invest your heart more than the fathers and mothers, husbands and wives and sons and daughters in Satan's world. Invest in your heart in shedding tears, sweat, and blood. Otherwise, you cannot claim any citizens of the heavenly kingdom as your own. Your position of glory and your proximity to God in the next world will be determined according to this number. Okay, that's good. So the reason I picked this, um, I'm working on this book called The F Five Bridges. And basically, it's like, how do we organize our own life according to result? So I'm going through Chung Sun Kyung, which is teachings our founder put together, talking about how we should live our life. So basically, the idea is that our small group here is our family, right? So anybody here have children? So your small group is yourself, if you're married or single with, with children. Um, and this is where you are. This is your small group. And what this, what this um, part from Chung Sung Gyeong says is that each person needs to restore more than 120 people. So what does that mean, restore? That means have, have another way to think about it is to have a healthy life, have a healthy spiritual life. So if you're here as a small group in your family and you study God's word, then through that process, you can resurrect. Who wants to resurrect their life? Who wants to resurrect their situation themselves? So my premise is that there's actual numbers of results of what our founder is expecting us um, in our spiritual life to do. So it really amazed me when I started going through Chung Sung Kyung as I realized this last week is that we are really not teaching what the founder of our church is really we haven't really caught it on a really deep level. We're not really teaching about actual results so much. Because as I'm going through Chung Sung Gyeong and reading it, there's very clear expectations about being able to restore all things and be able to restore people. So what happens when you do a good job at your workplace? You get paid. You get money, right? Okay. And what happens if you don't do a good job? You get fired. So part of God's plan is how we can, let's say, wherever we work at, how we can do a good job and bring value in our, into people's lives, right? Then we get more money, right? So it is, a, it is a valid prayer to be praying every week, every day, okay, God, how can I improve my ability to serve other people so that I can make more money? Does that make sense? Does anybody disagree with that or have any comment about that? I mean, you want to do something valid to help people, right? So they can improve their life and you can get paid, right? Make sense? So, how to revive your spiritual life. This is a couple of lists to go over. First part is commit to attend Sunday service every weekend. Why do we come to church on Sunday? Is it to receive something? Really, it's to offer our, our week to God. Say, okay, God, I'm going to offer this to you. I want, I want you to be in my, in my week this week. So please, we're coming together. Maybe we offer a dollar, a tithe or not, but we're offering our time to God so that God can work through us this week. And the second thing is to commit to daily quiet time. Who here heard of quiet time? If you study God's word, then God can speak to you and God can work in your life and help you improve your life. And commit to tithe to my local church. What does that mean? It means do something for people in your community. Maybe help somebody out. Maybe pray for somebody throughout the week. 
commit to serve, serve in my local church and serve outside my local church. So this is like a process of how to um, establish a healthy spiritual life. Does that make sense? So, Yuta, let's come up and let's read the second one. Did you, did you know you can choose other people? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what can you boast of when you go to the spirit world? You can boast of the number of lives you've saved, you have saved. The first person you saved, the second person, how many beyond your own tribe, how many people from how many nations you have connected mm -hmm. to the new life. This is your wealth. This and only this is your wealth. You will miss nothing in the spirit world because it lacks nothing. But if you do miss something, it would be true people. Thus, those devoted subjects who labored diligently to raise true parent, true people, will, true people will naturally become glorious sons and daughters in the heavenly world. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. So, if you have children, what is your main? What is this verse teaching us? Uh, if we have children, what's our main thing to do? Teach them how to be good children, right? So maybe, maybe um, you think, well, I don't have any spiritual children. Well, actually, you do. Your, your children are your, sp your spiritual children you're taking care of, right? So what's the first point we need to really do with our kids? Teach them how to pray. Teach them how to study God's Word. Does that make sense? Let's go to the next one. Okay. It is more important, important to harvest citizens for, for God's kingdom than to eat. However, people are not clear about this. This should be their principal occupation. It is the main occupation of people who live on this earth. Among the things you should do in your lifetime, there is nothing more important than this. In this world, having a job and a successful career and saving money all slip away. No matter how much money you amass, it will be of no use in the other world. Material things are not necessary in the next world. There is no need for knowledge. Even if there is something you have never learned, your mind will already know it. You will come to know everything within a week. I'm in going to the spirit world, the kingdom of heaven. What you need are spiritual sons and daughters. You need spiritual children. By witnessing, you can resurrect spirits. Therefore, the work you carry out on earth does not affect only the earth. You are carrying out that work in order to bring an end to all that this was that was defiled through the fall. Heaven is an infinite world where everything is connected by bridges of love. If the people you have witnessed to, witnessed to are spread across the world through them, paths will be formed over which you can travel to and fro, covering a much wider area when you go to the spirit world. Everyone will want to connect and relate with you, just as on earth you, connect, you connected to others through ideology. A similar structure will be organized around you in, in heaven. It is like having many students you have educated. When you pass on to the next world after resolving everything on earth, you will be able to resolve things in the spirit world through your relationships in a much wider room of activity. Okay, thank you. You can sit down. So let's, um, this is flow, right? This is like people, people are unchurched, people that don't come to church, who are not in the church, and then people that come to Sunday service, right? So we're learning how to move ourselves you, everyone here has a victory for the week, right? Because you showed up to offer your new week to God for Sunday service. So this is your victory. You came here. And then in your small group, what's the victory for your small group during the week, this week? If you as a, as a family or your small group pray together and study God's word together, it can change the situation in your family. Does that make sense? So basically, the church's purpose is to teach us how to establish a healthy small group. So that when we go out into the world, we're not getting influenced by the world, right? To do bad things. But we're pulling people more to establish a healthy small group. Does that make sense? So as we go through struggles, whatever we're struggling with, and study God's word, then we learn how to overcome that struggle and establish a healthy family, a healthy small group. Does that make sense? So really, God, your, your struggle that you have is God's gift to you. So that you can pray about it. And, and start researching God's word and how you can change your life and how you can prepare to, pack, to go to where we're going to go afterwards. Make sense? All right, everybody. God bless you. Have a good week. <laughs>